Refuting Paul V. Using Strong's Concordance. Paul V. continues to defy logic and reason and Protestant sources that debunk not only his heresy, but also his false exegesis of Scripture, specifically Psalm 110, verse 1. Notice that Paul V. says Psalm 110.1 means master and can't mean God because Adonai is Lord in number 113, which is the Hebrew of the Strong's Concordance. We will show this not to be true. I will just pick out a few sentences to highlight his misguided errors. My Lord, Adonai, English Lord, literally means master. Can't mean God because Adonai is Lord is also used for mortals. Paul also asserts that David is not calling Jesus the Lord in Psalm 110.1. David is calling Jesus my Lord in Psalm 110.1. Paul V is claiming that I am mixing up my Lords, which is 3068 and Lord 113. Let's go to the videotape. Actually, we will go to the Greek and the Hebrew interlinear Bible. What exactly is this text saying? Let's take a quick look. A statement of Jehovah to my Lord. Sit at my right hand until I place your enemies as your footstool. Now I will show why Paul V is totally wrong on his exegesis of Psalm 110 verse 1. What a gift this guy is. Let's go. Several things to notice here. Jehovah is my Lord. Sit at my right hand. I place my enemies as your footstool. Here, Paul V. unwittingly debunks his own argument. What a gift. Psalm 110, verse 1. A statement of Jehovah to my Lord. Jehovah is 3068. And here in Psalm 110, 1, Lord is is 136, not 113. This is significant, and Paul debunks his own argument. This is visual proof that Paul V. has been deluded by Satan. Now reading Hebrew Strong's number 113, it means Lord, Master, Supervisor, one who has authority over another, husband, owner. But the next sentence is, it says it can mean the Lord, with Yahweh 3068. And sovereign, Lord of Lords, means the highest power of authority, Lord and Master. Notice Paul V. wants Lord to mean Hebrews Strong's number 113. The fact is that the Hebrew states that Lord is referring to Strong's number 136, not 113. If you look at the chapter 1 of Luke, 17 times Luke uses karyos to mean God, not 16 times, and then he switches in Luke 143 and means master or sir, as he has repeatedly stated, mistakenly, I might add, but it means God. In this scene, we see the blessed Trinity, and Paul, like Pontius Pilate, fails to see the truth, that Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are present in Luke 139 to 45. Now, reading the Strong's number of 136, which Psalm 110 is referring to, it states, The Lord, a title of the one true God, with a focus on his majesty and authority. So, Lord means God. It is a title of the one true God with a focus on his majesty and authority. How much clearer can it get? Paul V. again misinterprets Psalm 110, verse 1. Strong's number is 136, not 113. Let's take a look at 3068 for Yahweh, which is also in Psalm 110, verse 1. Jehovah. It means Lord, God, the proper name of the one true God. Knowledge of the use of the name implies personal or covenant relationship. The name pictures God as the one who exists and or causes existence, the Lord. 
Paul V is correct that the Lord Jehovah is speaking to my Lord, who is the Son of God, the Son of Man, the Son of David, the Lord, the Christ, the Messiah. I am my Lord and my God, Jesus the Nazarene, and Jesus is Lord, the Holy One of God. He is Emmanuel, God with us, right from the beginning. Paul V. tells me in the second slide to go to Matthew twenty two forty two and read it. What Paul V. is missing is that it is Jesus who is using Psalm 110, verse 1, in his argument against the Pharisees. He is explaining that he is the Messiah and that the Messiah is God, which is why David calls him Lord, and that is he sits at the right hand of God. Jesus is equal in power, majesty, and glory to God. That is the meaning of Psalm 110, verse 1. But according to Paul V., Jesus is telling the Pharisees that he is just some guy with authority, like in a master of a bunch of slaves and not the Son of God. Paul is correct that the Lord, in capital letters, is not the Messiah Christ in Psalm 110, verse 1. My Lord is the Messiah Christ. So Paul says, my Lord is the Messiah Christ, and this is correct, Paul. We agree with you. And who is Jesus Christ? He is Emmanuel, according to the prophets. He is God, according to Jesus. I am. Debunked. Paul V. says, the literal interpretation of Luke 143 is the mother of my master. The apostle Jude refutes Paul V. Jude says in verse 4, for certain people have crept in unnoticed who long ago were designated for this condemnation. Ungodly people who pervert the grace of our God into sensuality and deny our only Master and Lord, Jesus Christ. If you look up Lord on Jude 4, the Strong's number is 2962, which is the same Lord used in Luke 143. And Master is 1203 in Strong's number, and the definition is Master, Sovereign Lord, Lord or Lord, Master or Master. Debunked, Paul. Just to reiterate, Paul V. says Jesus is my Lord in number 113 in Psalm 110, verse 1, not the Lord in capital letters, 3068. Yes, Paul, you are correct. According to Strong's Number Psalm 110, verse 1 is not 113, but 136, as I posted. Again, you are debunked. A quick look at Luke 143 and 145. Lord in 113 and 3068 is in the Hebrew. Elizabeth and Mary both spoke Aramaic. So according to Strong's numbers, Lord in both Luke 143 and 148 is referring to to 2962 of the Greek. The Gospel of Luke has written for Greek-speaking Gentiles. Kerios is Lord, which is Adonai, and that would be the way Mary and Elizabeth would have understood the Greek word Kerios. They would not use Yahweh, but Adonai. And who is Jesus? And yes, Jesus is my master. He is also my Lord and my God. He's the Lord. He is God. He is I am. He is the Son of God. He's the Son of Man. He's the Son of David. He's the King. He's the Master. He's Jesus. He's Messiah. He's Christ, the Holy One of God, and He is Emmanuel. Jesus is all of these titles right from the conception when the Word was made flesh. Paul, you have been debunked.